All right, next up we're going to do a midnight blue stain on a birch guitar top. This is a flame birch top. You don't always have to use maple. These tops are a little bit cheaper than flame maple. This has got some really big thick flame in it and I thought a midnight blue would look good here. So we're going to start with this Angelus black leather dye and we're going to get this nice and thick on the body. You can buy these through the link below in the description or if you go to my website there's a place to buy them from them. We'll just put one real thick coat on here. Make sure all the nooks and crannies are stained. Birch is very similar to maple. Same closed pour. Same coloring for the most part. Same hardness. It's very similar but it's a lot cheaper. So we'll put a number of coats on here, speed this up a little bit. And we'll get my sander out here. This is a new sander, found it in the garage. It's a little bit more aggressive, higher amperage. So I'm using 400 grit sandpaper here and clean this off. There's a vacuum connection for this as well. It's nice having lots of tools laying around. So that other Black & Decker one died, the bearings went bad, so it's time to pull something else out. So it's nice and clean, you can see the black remnants left. And then we'll go ahead and add this blue dye. So this is Angelus Blue Leather Dye. It's very dark, probably could have diluted it, and you'll see a trick I use later to pull some color back out. But here's the blue straight on the black. Here's the Angelus Blue the other day. And we'll just start by soaking up that rag and just rubbing this in. We'll fast forward this a little bit. Starting to pull a little bit of the black up, so turn the rag a little bit. Make sure I'm just pushing the blue around. pretty interesting at this point. Could have just left it and then you've got a really dark blue with the black on the top. Interesting flame figure. So we'll go back with the black rag and kind of color in on the outside. So this was too much blue and what I'm doing is, is taking some denatured alcohol and actually pulling a little bit of the blue out. I want that to be a little bit lighter. I could have diluted it before I put it down, but instead I you know, just wipe on some alcohol to absorb it into the clean rag here. So then we'll go back and fade this in. So we'll pull out that rag and get the blue and just fade this in so it looks right. And again, this is a lot of playing back and forth to get the coloring to look proper. Speed this up a little bit. You can see I'm just going back and forth with that rag, wiping it in. The rag's still pretty damp with the blue on it. And we'll go ahead and just get that darker on the edge and lighter in the middle with the different rags. Here, just want a little bit more black on the outside. There's not a lot of figuring on the outside of this piece, so when you use the black to really cover that up. And we'll go back with the blue and make sure it's faded properly. I could have also sanded this one more time and then added a light blue, but just left it as it is. So and this is after the stain has dried. Real interesting dark on the outside, lighter in the middle. And then once you take it outside, this really pops. So this is three coats of sanding sealer. And from the different angles, this piece of wood really pops. Some really interesting colors here. 
really happy with the way this turned out. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next vid, and check out my new website. Thanks.